Hello and happy Eclipse Week. Weather First Meteorologist Gary Frank giving you an update on what we can expect. Now this is not the big eclipse that we're all looking forward to in April and that's the one that's totally going to darken everything outside. But it's a different type of eclipse and I want to kind of give you an idea of what it means for us locally as we look ahead to the different types of eclipses and what this one will mean and of course how the weather is going to impact your viewing of this. This is an annular solar eclipse and as I put this into a full screen I'll show you what this means. You know specifically this is on Saturday so we're we're still just a little bit of ways away. Now the main path of this whole thing is going to be throughout the four corners area. And you know what it, well, you'll see these 40, 60, 80. We don't get the 100% coverage of the sun. You're going to see a lot of it covered here if you are in New Mexico or Utah or Nevada. But for us, we're going to get somewhere uh, right around 60%, somewhere between 50 and 60% coverage in our entire region. So depending on where you are. But I want to show you what this means specifically between partial annular and total. So partial eclipse, you're not going to see all of it covered. Annular eclipse, if you were in that four corners region, like I mentioned, you're going to see this much covered. That means, of course, you can still see the outside of the sun, not looking directly at it, of course, but with the eclipse glasses. Whereas this is the very popular one that is going to be in April, where you look at the corona on the outside. So this is the ring of fire eclipse. So that's what it's dubbed as we look at the annular solar eclipse. Now, for us, this is what it's going to look like here. Uh, starting off, you know, for the first part, uh, 1032 is when the partial eclipse begins for us. And you're going to see uh, the moon gradually works its way. It's the shadow of the earth here. Uh, that's where you're starting to see this uh, covered up here. You're going to be able to look at it with your eclipse glasses, starting it all the way from 1032 to 1115. Now maximum eclipse for us is right around 1157 and it's going to cover up this much. If you have your eclipse glasses on, that's exactly how much you're going to see where you have that shadow coverage. And then of course it, it goes to the south here, south end of the sun by 1231. That's what it's going to look like with your eclipse glasses. And then finally this thing is over with by just after 115. So just to recap, 1032, that's when the partial eclipse begins. 1157, that's where you're going to see at partial coverage, like I mentioned, between 50 and 60%, depending on where you are. And then by 127, that's when it comes to a close. So overall, what we can expect, you know, for the 14th, the last few years from well, just a small sample size, but from 2019 to even last year, it was fully sunny. We've had relatively sunny days, but in 2021, it was probably the cloudiest. If we're looking ahead, we're probably going to see some cloud cover. I don't think that we're going to see a fully sunny day. And I think by 10 or 11 o'clock, depending on how, how far north this system is, at least at this point, it starts to seem that we're going to see cloud cover that gradually moves to the south and increases. That may impact your maximum viewing. And like I mentioned, by 1.30, the eclipse is over. So there's a small window. We're still days away. We're going to keep you posted on this throughout the next few days. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be something to watch out for. You need the eclipse glasses, though, for this eclipse. You've got to dig those out. If you don't have them, you might as well get some now because as we look ahead toward, um, you know, next April when it's that full eclipse, that's when you need those eclipse glasses anyway. The sun is not fully covered, so you're not going to be able to look. You will probably be able to tell something is just a little bit different overall, but uh, the eclipse duration is around three hours. So uh, those are the things that I want you to point out with specifically for this eclipse. Like I mentioned, we'll continue to keep you posted on, you know, whether or not we're going to get that cloud cover out of there, but this is still fun to see. I know it's not the completely pitch dark you know, entire darkness in the area that we're looking forward to in April in, in some of our area, but it's still a very cool thing that we're going to be able to look forward to on Saturday, October 14th, an annual solar eclipse, and we'll keep you posted with the latest weather conditions and answer any questions you have throughout the week.